Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we started traversing the interior... Bless me. We started exploring the interior walls of the Palace of Shadows, which is the palace found behind the uh, Thousand Year Door. There's a lot of creepy flowers. Lots of design went into this stage. It's really cool. It is all dungeon. So if you were expecting like a town or a village, it is all dungeon. If you wanted to find a town or something, then you want to speak to the lore master on the rooftops above Frankly's office. And yes, I am avoiding monsters because there's an even bigger fight that we have to deal with. Right in here. Who are you? Oh look! It's a third dragon! No one's disturbed me here in Aeons. Who dares defile this sacred place? Hey, isn't that Hooktail? We totally beat it before. What's it doing back? What? You destroyed my precious younger sister? I wondered why she hadn't written recently. Quake in fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. If you're Gloomtail, are we not going to mention that we also got rid of his older brother? Whoa! My first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. Well, uh, sorry to disappoint Gloomtail, but I don't have that much HP for you to, to enjoy. That's Gloomtail. I think he's Hooktail's brother. I see the family resemblance. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, defense is 2. He'll bite or stomp you, and he may also breathe poison on you. Great. When his HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his Mega Breath move, because the word is, it's gnarly. He also stores power for some attacks. So use Vivian to hide to avoid those. Okay, so let's swap to Vivian now. And let's power lift. The idea is to get more defense than offense in this one, but I will be... Okay, there we go. This is what I usually get. Plus three, plus two. Okay. Now with Vivian, let's Shadow Fist. X. Activate that. And let's go for the Spring Jump. Oh, awesome! Lady gave us decreased damage! Not that it mattered, I got lucky again. Okay. That confuses. Let's swap to... My go-to is Goombles for the Wink, Rally Wink now. Rally Wink. You're better than this, Mario. Try again. Oh, 
Okay. Wow, you're a tough meat, my little tasty morsels. But how will you fare against this? Ooh, 12 damage. Okay, well... Rally, Wink. Go again, Mario. Normal jump. Just like that, Gloomtail. No, no, is it true? Can I expire? Well, now we've defeated the entire family tree. Gloomtail and Bonetail. We leveled up too! Oh, Gloomtail, you're the best. Not that we're going for more health. We're going to go for more flower points. Okay. Really? You couldn't spit up a bigger chest like your bigger brother? We got a star key. Now, I always see other players always forget about the secret behind Gloomtail. This is the only time you get to be back here, too. Uh, shroom steak. And let's get rid of stopwatch. Okay, we need these two items to disappear. Wow, they definitely take a long time to disappear. Because Miss Mouse unfortunately sniffs them. There we go. No more secrets. So I always see other people f miss out on those two free ultra shroom and uh, jelly, jam and jelly. Because they don't know about the cracked wall. I recall seeing that in my little guidebook from 2005 because I it took me a long time to get to this point even with the guidebook wait there's secrets in here I don't understand. I don't remember any additional secrets. Get out of here. Miss Mouse, you're confusing me. Unless she can smell enemies with treasure. I don't understand. Oh no, okay, now I understand. And I didn't really understand it before. But I, I totally understand. Oh my gosh. What cheekiness. I'll explain in a bit. But it's... It's actually a really smart idea that they did. 
Again, I'll explain in a little bit once we get there. But there is treasure in that room, I believe. So it's the fourth room. First, we gotta come back to the garden and go into the spire. Hop in. Sailing away. Okay. So, we have multiple rooms. There'll be a little puzzle. And every character kind of gets their moment here. An invisible object. And we get a palace key for a pedestal. Should be noted that that clearly said for a pedestal. Next room. I believe this is a fake wall. This gives us another palace key. That's two. Now we have metal blocks that we cannot break. And stone blocks. Four stones, twin stones, master of shadow and dark. Two are one, one is two. So we can't solve this puzzle with this room alone, but keep that in mind. Next puzzle. Uh, beyond, beyond, beyond. Complete all seven before, before. One, two, three, one, two. It sometimes is confusing. Beyond, 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 complete all seven. I believe that's actually referring to the eight rooms, not seven rooms. Unless I am actually a quack. And up here, there's only three doors. No, there's... There are eight rooms. I'm not a complete quack. Uh, let fall the weakest, and that the skies lie. Then build to the strongest. So, if we go into... Catalog. To our bones. It should be dull, dry, uh, dull, red, dry, dark. Dull. Red. Dry. And I have one more. Dark Bones. This is the last time to get all of these tattles before they are gone forever. Uh, 
Uh, let's go swap to Bobbery. Actually, no. Swap back to Flurry. Because Lip Lock. Should do the max damage. Eight. There we go. Now, provided red and dry are in the correct order. Excellent. It brings up a... I don't know why it just doesn't give us the... The box. So let's go to this room next. Ooh. And as we can see, we can clear those out. And let's go back down and clear out those rooms first. That room first. It kind of reminds me of a Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild shrine puzzle. That room. Where you have to go into one shrine, see the puzzle, and then go to another shrine to finish it. And then go back to the first shrine to actually get the reward. And up here. So, as a new thing, by the way, Master of Shadow and Dark, the blue text is lore, so I guess I shouldn't be skipping the text. Let's go look real quick at the other ones. Master of Shadow and Dark. Complete all seven. Because that's not talking about rooms. So that we, the great ones, stones have power of stars. So, the seven crystal stars had the power of the heavens imbued in them. As a reminder to that bit of lore we were working on. And that the skies lie. I'll read them all and then... Afterwards, I'll put them in the proper text order. Because it, it's, it's a poem, basically. Not a real poem, but like... It's lore mumbo jumbo. Can live again by the stone. Straight on, straight on. We know the stars spur us. Spurn us. Destroy all in your path. So this is actually a... Bobbery. Uh, the shy one hides his shape, but the stars bring balance. The shy one hides his face. So that is Vivian. 
hide. And now we have eight keys for pedestals. Uh, let's go back to Goombella. Mario, look at that! It's totally huge. What is it, do you think? How could there be such a huge tower underground? And why was it built? There seems to be a lot of rooms here, and everyone contains a riddle. Star key. One. One key. Two keys. These are what all of the keys from the puzzle rooms unlock. Okay, once all eight are active, this astro projection starts to turn. Whoa, it's moving! Huh, what? So this is the hallway to Gloomtail. What was that? That, my dear Goombella, is where we're going next. So the demon that ruled in this palace had a weird thing for the stars. And like, that's fine. Everyone has weird things for stars. We've been waiting for you, Mario. <gasps> Beldum, frankly, what? Professor Frankly, what are you doing here? Thank you so much for opening the door for us, Mario. Yes, that was nice. Thanks to you do-gooder, predictably my plan is progressing very smoothly. Opening the door for you? What do you mean by that, you total hag? <laughs> oh, so you still don't see it. Ah, such fools. The Professor Frankly you were with when you opened the Thousand Year Door was none other than this little freak in a sheet. Oh uh, yeah, my name's Duplis, but... <laughs> the real Professor Frankly is sleeping off a nasty bump on the head in a closet somewhere. Poor thing. And once we get rid of you here, our plan will be nearly complete. Ready for the end, my dears? You and that traitor Vivian have a date with eternity. Go. Uh -huh. That's right, slick eternity. Shut up, freak! Oh, okay, right, sorry. Oh, it's the end, all right. But not for us, Beldum. You guys are going down. Come, my sort of lovelies. Marilyn, freak sheet! Go. Uh -huh. I said my name is my name's Dupless.
All right, my kind of lovelies. This time we take out Mario and his goon squad for good. So, if I catch you slacking, you're in for incredible punishment come tomorrow. Go! Okay, 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 okay. Can't flee this fight. So, to start us off, we actually don't need to worry about anything, really. I'd say let's go Courage Shell to Mario first. And let's multi-bounce everyone. Rude. Double rude. Okay, Goombells is down for now. Let's bring out Vivian. Spring jump. Up. Oh. Is he copying? Oh. Let's Veil, because these next attacks are going to be pretty powerful. Are you kidding me? Boo sheet on me. Mushroom I was hoping for. Spin jump. Gah! Curse you, Mario. This is very annoying. Blast it! Are you okay, Marilyn? Go, go. Now that should count as. Zest special. Okay. That gets Vivian back up. Now let's multi bounce. Got rid of Marilyn. Go! Hey, you freak! Hey, you freak sheet! Pull it together, will you? Don't make me punish you. S -s -s Sorry. Since I have the FP, infatuate. Press A the instant a heart appears over the enemy. Nope. Okay. Multi bounce. Get rid of Beldum and her ability to make me lose turns. 
Ah, I'll leave the rest to you. Okay, now he's trying to be me again. Is he attacking twice? Oh. Shade Fist. A. And he's defeated! Oh no! Out of all that, we only got six star points. Arg, at this rate, she will never. Oh. Uh. Okay, guys, we were able to knock out Beldum and her evil trio. That's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to delve ever deeper into the depths of the Palace of Shadows. Now that we've completed the Astronomy Tower and have opened up and unlocked new doors and passages deeper into the palace. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash the like button and subscribe if you have not for more Paper Mario content. We'll see you all next time. Derez plays out.